Hello there. Um, today's exercise is about dimensioning. So, you know, every engineering drawing has to be dimensioned. Okay. <clears throat> so, therefore, in, in this tutorial, what you will learn is how to, um, you know, how to dimension a given engineering uh, project. Okay. So, uh, basically, like, you know, if you remember uh, in our last. Uh, in our last exercise what we did is like we were uh, able to uh, make this 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 floor plan right so that was part of the layers exercise now um, in this part what we're going to do is we are going to dimension it okay so how to dimension it like the way is given in the exercise how you will do it it's just like I'm going to show you okay so first of all you know what you need to do is like create a new layer okay so you, know, you either type LA and press enter to start the layer property manager or if your layer property manager as you see it here if it is already up there what you need to do is you just go ahead and then create a new layer okay now if you strictly follow uh, you know the, the, the note that I gave you uh, this the note that I gave you this one it asks you to do create a deems layer okay and then we're going to call it like that so we're going to add to our list of uh, layers and I'm going to give it uh, some kind of a color that will pop up and I'll prefer like magenta color okay and then the next item that you, you will do is like you need to create your own kind of dimensioning style why because like if you go ahead and then like all of a sudden start dimensioning so for instance you can either click here or what you can do is you can type like dim linear because we are going to dimension this in a linear fashion then you just type dim linear then that will start the dimensioning tool so just just to show you like for instance if I start just simply dimensioning this uh, you will see that like you know the dimension is not that visible it's very small even if like you zoom in like to that number what you see is like you know four digits and it's in inches and it's not really as great so therefore like just to accommodate for that what we normally do is we're going to go ahead and then like create a nice um, dimensioning style so um you know like if you're working on a windows um then there is like uh where you, wherever you see like the un under annotation you will see something that says annotation and there are there annotation then if you go ahead and then you will see like all the dimensioning things on the ribbon you can go ahead and then click the little extension arrow and then all of a sudden like the dimensioning style can come pop up here for instance it's not like i don't see it here but it's not a problem what i can do is if i type dim style okay then what i'm going to get is like this guy okay so but actually then then from here i can create my own dimensioning style and so on and so forth okay so if you remember like last time when we did the layers exercise we already set our units to be architectural then we're going to keep it as architectural then to create a new one you either click over here if you have a windows machine then you, this, this is a mac computer if you have a windows there is a new option then you click on the new and you can through. then uh, according to the notebook that i gave you here it says call it esc131 deems okay so uh, our new style um, is going to be called ESC131 DIMS okay <clears throat> you can take a copy of the the standard for now you just say and then like you say like continue okay then what you need to do here is like you have to make everything by layer color has to be by layer line type by layer line weight by layer so that like your dimensioning style will adopt everything like by layer property okay. Uh, extension lines extension lines are those are the extension lines so therefore you want to have them by layer as well okay 
and then of course everything that you see here it has to be by layer time wait for the extension lines by layer okay so extend beyond the dim lines that's this part i mean for now we can keep it like very small but this 316 can be really too small maybe just like you know use probably one inch size okay offset from the origin means like the, the distance between the extension line and and the object that one you can keep it small even you can make it zero if you make it zero that means the dimension the extension line will touch the the county building or the, the floor plan and then it, it you know it moves on okay then once you do that like the next thing that you need to do is like symbols and arrows okay I prefer to use like the architectural thick style okay the architectural thick, which is which is good um, leaders that's arrows okay and then, then I'm going to keep it like that uh, arrows I would go with let's see that's like one inch I'm going to use one inch of arrow size because our, our full plan is which is 25 feet by 24 feet so therefore uh, I'm going to keep it like that okay and the center marks and and everything else I'm going to uh, keep it the way it is um, okay preceding dimension above dimension text uh, can change this but I'm going to that's about like the arc links um, kind of um, thing okay then you go ahead and then change the text the text you can use a standard or you can choose your own style if you click this next right next to it like you may choose the default is area regular you know you can use any of the any of the styles you want okay so uh, but there are particular kind of um, styles that I may prefer the one that ends with dot shx those dot shx are they're native to AutoCAD it means like they're only for AutoCAD they are not like something that you find in a word file or something most of them that you see here like you know for instance Garamond or something like that those, those are those are not native those are like they came they come from um, um, you know, from uh, what do you call from Word or from somebody else but the one that says DSH SHX that ends with SHX those are as you can see here they are native okay so you know you can click on those varieties and then you can go with the one that you like most okay uh, you know. uh, so it's 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 basically up to you I mean but um, so you, you know you choose your own style this is your thing and you just like for instance something that looks like a handwriting if you want you can have something like this okay um, all right then for instance i'm i'm going to choose like a handwriting looking one um, then it's fine okay and then again the color i'm going to go with with by layer fill color you don't want to put a fill color for your text because if you put a fill color then automatically you know it covers the text is okay so there's no fill color uh text height i would go probably um no and a, I don't know a 10 inches you know you can try it I mean I gave you a value range between 12 to 36 inches but it's up to you um, then of course they are vertically um, horizontally centered and right to left you want to have them a little offset of the dimension line you can have it but otherwise you can you can always leave it there or you know preferably you may also want to have them like aligned with the dimension if you do align with the dimension line that means if you have an inclined line then the dimension the dimension number textures will follow that direction okay but otherwise horizontal is a perfect one just to to go with we're not going to do or change anything on the feet side and but we're going to set the primary units before we proceed because since we are working with the architectural dimensions, then I'm preferring to choose architectural here. Okay. And then precision, it's okay. Like you can have it that or it's just like to a level of one eighth is fine. Okay. And once you set all those uh, thumbs, like the, the alternate 
and tolerances don't need to do anything with those ones and then you say say like okay and then make sure that like that dimension and style is current so you can make it like current by double clicking on it okay so you click here and set it current uh, and close and now I'm going to go ahead and then zoom extend and then probably I'll come and try to dimension it like the way it was in the in the drawing so I'm going to dimension linear then I'm going to start from here and then I'm going to do it like that see See how beautiful it turned out to be. If you feel the text is a little too big, then probably you know you may you may prefer to uh, to make modifications on on the thing that you have. Okay, so probably um, I'll try to make it a little smaller so that like I can fit a uh, lot more dimensions that you see here. So again, probably I may increase the uh, the architectural ticks size the one that you see here you can increase it a little more so that like it can be a little better uh, so again you can type dim style now uh, and then it's going to pop um, then what you can do is you can you can modify this um, so <clears throat> click here it said modify they said the text probably 12 inches was a little too big and then I will go with maybe eight or a nine should work well with the type of text that we chose um, with the architectural tick one inch was a um, little too small probably we can make it a little visible by making it like three and then let's go with okay and again we set it as current and we close and we proceed <coughs> Did I make it eight feet with the dimension? Yeah, it has to be eight inches. Okay. Always when you make mistakes, you know, take that opportunity to learn from it. So you know, change it that to eight. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. See now, now this is like a perfect one, and. You know, I'm going to move this uh, little up so that, like, I can add the other ones. Okay, and and uh, and uh, as you can see, like, you know, this is how my dimension looks like. And of course, like, you know, my my drawing it really isn't really as completed as it should be. But on the lower part, it's pretty completed. So I'm going to go ahead and then dimension this side of it up to this point, and then I'm going to show you something over there. So I'm going to go with dim linear again. Then I'm going to start from here and then and then to there. Okay. Okay, mine is a little too big, but don't get alarmed. Uh now now but the thing is uh, what what you can see here probably like that this this dimension it there and then I'm, if I want to continue another one then what do I need to do I need to go and find and so on and so forth right but AutoCAD gives you a nice option once you draw the first one you can continue from there by clicking the dim continue option or if you type dim continue it's going to start continuing the dimension from there so I'm going to continue from there then click and yeah, my texts are overlapping. Probably they may need to be a little smaller than what I have. Um, you see, just continues for you nicely. This software is great. I'm telling you. You see, that's it. So if you feel like you know some of the texts are overlapping here, then maybe maybe we can still go with a little smaller dimension style so again dim style uh, so you do this like pretty much you know try to modify it you know, um, you know it's it's always a trial and error kind of thing uh, but if I go with even five inches probably it may work uh, and set it current and then close yeah perfect and now you can see you can see how the dimensions are 
as I say, like the dimension, the texts, they are pretty much up to you how to do them, okay? Um, then again, another dimension, I'm going to show you uh, one more. And so keep in mind, there is a dim continue option that you have to, uh, that you have to use uh, that room. Okay, that room was a little smaller for me. And, and then from, you know, and then another dimension from there to there, okay, like that. Um, I don't know what this dimension is. And another dimension from here to here. Fantastic, see? This thing is really like, you know, I just love AutoCAD and um, so the, then the things that you keep in mind is like, you know, what are the things that you, you're dimensioning, the dimension style, you manage to create your own dimension style and so on and so forth. Okay, so now, have you noticed that like I have been dimensioning this thing like on a layer that's not a dimension layer? So what should I do? Do I need to delete everything? Well, I mean, partly I did this deliberately so that like I can teach you something we call like, we call it like select similar and you can change them like instantly. I'll show you without a fuss. So you click on one of the dimensions, right click, and then there is something which says select similar. If I select similar, then all the dimensions will be selected, nothing else then automatically like, what do I do? I'm going to come here from my layer list and I'm going to switch that, um, those dimensions to their fantastic dimension layer. See, voila, that's it. Perfect, right? So this is how you proceed and then, you know, the rest, it's, 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 it's your job to complete it. Uh, you go ahead and, 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 and complete it. Again, this is back to, So it may probably, yeah, I need to change it. Now it's on the door layer. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, now um, then there's a the next part of this exercise. Like I gave you a set of drawings um, uh, and then now those drawings has to be, um, has to be like, you know, just read, you know, you need to do them. Um, so, the second part of the exercise, if you see it, like what it asks you to do is first you need to um, you need to draw the given drawings, okay? And then once you once you do the drawings, and then you are go you are going to go ahead and then dimension them. The procedure is pretty much similar to what we did. The only difference here is like I mean, where I'm trying to teach you the other dimension styles, like for instance. You know how to dimension, how to dimension um, circle radius, how to dimension angles, uh, how to dimension like ordinates and so on and so forth. So without saying much, and let's go ahead. All right, so. Uh, so like, you know, you, the first thing that you will, you will need to do on this exercise is like, first you need to draw the given drawings. And this one says like, you need to open a new AutoCAD file and then you need to draw those things and then dimension them at the way you see it. Here, the main purpose of this drawing is like, I'm not going to go ahead and dimension everything, but I'm going to show you a few tricks. Okay. So if you see here, the dimensions are done very nicely and this way of dimensioning is known as a baseline dimensioning then AutoCAD can do it for you okay so in the previous diagram we saw a dimensioning style called dim continuum but here what we call it is like a dimension style what we call is like baseline dimensioning and there is a dimensioning style that looks like this this way of dimensioning is known as dim originate okay so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and then show you how to do it 
So first, let's go ahead and then like you know dimension this this. I, I know like the, the the digits and all that like could be a little different for um, from one drawing to another drawing, but we're not going to worry much. But rather, we're going to focus just and then I'm going to show you a few of the things. The first thing is again what you will do is like start your dim style manager, okay, by typing dim style. For this one, you know, you can create like multiple kind of dimensioning styles. You can create dimension, for instance, here, created like SCE uh, uh, 131 DIM and SCE 131 DIM 2. Okay, so now based on like the type of dimensioning that you are preferring to have, like for instance, you know, the numbers and everything, like for instance, you can look at this, the one that I created. The one that I created as E1 ESC 131 DIM, if you look at it like, because this is a small drawing, it's not like the previous drawing that we had, like huge, okay? So once again, line, dimension line, it has to be by layer, by layer, by layer. And uh, if you want to have like a baseline extension, depending on, depending on like, because we are we'll be doing a baselining dimension, so we're going to give a certain value 0 0.25. The extension lines would like to have them like by layer, by layer, by layer. Even the lightweight has to be by layer, okay? And then extend beyond dim lines. How much do you want to extend those ones? So that part is like, you know, this little tiny thing that goes above. So then Symbols and arrows, you know, in the previous exercise, we used architectural tick, but for this one, what we're going to use is like a closed field one, okay? So, uh, and then the text style, once again, you choose your own text style if you want to, uh, uh, you know, but otherwise you can keep it as the standard for this one. Text height, you know, most of the time, depending on your size of like your drawing, you know, you can come and change and modify. For this particular case, 0 0.05 working well, then that's fine. We'll keep it as the way it is. Primary decimal, I mean, primary units, we'll keep it decimal, and then we're going to keep the precision to two decimal places, okay? We're not going to have like four after the decimal point we don't want to have like four digits or something like that. We don't need any suffix. Like sometimes you may need to put like meter, kilometer or something like that. But we're not going to do that over here. And that's it. Then I'm going to make this current, set it current, then I'll go ahead. The other thing that, don't forget that like you make sure that, that you have like your own layer for the dimensioning part, okay? So now layer dimensioning. So the, f the few things that I, I, I plan to show you here is the following. First one is how to put the angles, okay? The second one is how to dimension, baseline dimensioning, okay? So first, let's go ahead and then measure the angle. So there is something like to, to, to do the angles, like you can look at like the list here and you can find like where, where to find like the, um, the dimensioning style, okay? So you can click on this dimensioning style, you see here, there is something angular, baseline, continue, what do you want to do? If it is angular that you want to do, then you can type A and then press enter and then you can measure the angle between between the two, okay? So I'm going to find the angle between those two. If I do this way, it's going to be, but I need the angle to be between those two, okay? There I have 45, that's it. Then do I have any other angle? Yes, we can measure the lower part also like, Again, if you want, you can directly type dim angular like this. Okay, and then press the line, dim angular. Select one line, select the other one, 
there I have the angle okay the text height could be a little bigger that's why like it's writing it outside of it so probably you may probably want to change it a little a little, a little to the smaller size but once you already have the hang of it then that's that's fantastic that's it okay then then the next item is we're going to dimension this way this is style known as baseline dimensioning okay so the first thing what you will do is like just go ahead and then dimension one of the things like from here to here <clears throat> okay like that okay i know the offset the, the line offset is a little too much probably you know you would want to change that um, mm, for that like you can go ahead and then change it for instance dim style uh, maybe this me this one will work better so in first dimension this okay yeah the number is too big we're going to um probably need to change it then you go ahead and then like do it baseline the baseline option is like you can either type dim base um, or you will find it here right next to right next to the continue okay so or here there is an option which says baseline then you go ahead and then press baseline okay so Okay, you see? Then with the baseline, when you finish, you can click on it. So with the baseline dimensioning, as you can see here, like how the numbers are, I mean, I made the numbers bigger so that like you can see them. Otherwise, like we're, we're going to change the numbers so that like it will shrink to a smaller size, okay? So with the baseline dimensioning, you can dimension things like this, all right? Um, so then, you know, you can always do that. Um, that's that's the best way of like dimensioning so if, you, if i go to dim style and then i can go to um, modify and i can change the text size so that it will fit in um, there i'm much smaller do i need it significantly okay so this the baseline spacing is too much then if the baseline spacing is too much then again you can go ahead and then change the baseline then the baseline okay so go ahead modify um, then in the lines like baseline spacing that's that's too much because your drawing is too small um, probably you can go ahead and uh, have it like something 0 0.05 you try it if it works good if it doesn't uh, then yeah there's always a chance to like to to change the baseline spacing okay extension of it from origin uh, that one is also too much we don't need to uh, be that far away and um, and it has to stay like that um, here mark and everything else is fine the text is fine now if you want you can make it a little bigger primary units um, it's fantastic you keep it that way and uh, all right okay so you proceeded that way um 
then you do the same thing like for for the other drawing uh, as well you know the only difference here is like for instance you need to dimension the radius how do i do that uh, you do the same thing like you know you start the dimensioning or here you have a you know, circle dim cent center mark that's, that's mostly a center mark if you want to have a center mark for your drawings uh, you can have them okay and the other thing is like you know you click on the dimension and then like for instance what do you want to do with the dimension then there is an option to dimension the radius um, not the center yeah working working with this small space is sometimes tricky <clears throat> or otherwise dim radius means it's going to dimension the radius of uh, a given place for instance for this it will show the radius here see uh, if you want to show the, the diameter there's an option dim diameter okay then you know you click on this that guy and then there you go Rokar will do that for you okay then the last part is like how to dimension the ordinates okay um, so dimensioning like ordinates means like what are the x and y components and then you type just dim ordinate something like that and then you click on whatever corner you want if you put it if you move the cursor to horizontal direction then automatically that will give you the y ordinate value like that okay uh, but if you move the cursor in the vertical direction it's going to give you the x ordinate so like dim again ordinate and click on move the cursor down there you get okay so with this you proceed your work and thanks for watching